Okay, so let's just continue with the first order low pass filter, uh, whose uh, simulation were AC simulation were performed in the last tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will tell you some more tricks. So it is very customary actually, very usual that both the magnitude as well as this phase plot both happens to be in the same window when you even you draw the border plot manually. But if you want them to be in different plot windows, you can go here plot setting. Add plot pen and uh, press Ctrl A and select this V out. Let me remove this V out over the end. They both are basically the same thing. So right click and drag escape, delete it, press OK. So the, the, these two are basically the same thing. Now, if you want to have magnitude plot here, not face plot, so you just go here. I mean, just move your cursor here. So this scale type thing will come. Then you just left click and uh, click this option drawn plot face so you can see that this is the magnitude only now come here and you have to delete this uh, magnitude from here because you wanted only face so again uh, left click and drawn plot magnitude and you can see that you have wonderful phase and magnitude plot also if you want to have this in linear scale rather than logarithmic so you can you can again select from here you just go here so that this is scale appears and left click and you can see the representation like this Cartesian and all those things are there so let's select this linear curve okay so this shows the linear behavior I mean the scale is now linear okay so you wanted to know the magnitude so you can see that initially you know even in your circuit I told you that when this frequency is zero or very small so this is basically open circuit so whatever voltage you apply here the same appears here so because you applied a source of one so that is what you are seeing here the voltage is output voltage is again one and if you want to measure anything again you can do the trick you can attach cursor by left clicking here this cursor will automatically attach you can attach another yet another cursor i have already told you about by going here, press select 1 and 2, press OK and you just drag this over here so you have these two cursors and you can see the horizontal and vertical difference in all those things here. Let's, let us remove it and uh, if there is any more detail, mm, well so I think this is all and uh, well one more thing let me engage this. Let us make some notes and annotation. If you want to place, say, some some note, so you can do it from here. Place text, and you can place place some text. For example, you can see response. You can select text color, okay, and you can put it here and something like so. All these things are possible. I encourage you to go through all these options and see what what they do, and. Uh, Okay, sometimes you you will you would like to have say different ticks. So this tick is 100 millivolt. So 0, 0 0.1. This is 0 plus 100 millivolt. You can remove this tick and say it is it is a tick of 500 millivolt. So you can see it is 0 and 500 millivolt. So these are some of the tips that I have given you about AC analysis. We will comment some more on AC analysis in coming tutorials. So thank you very much for watching.